Yeah, so we, there. Oh, I've seen like five or six on our way up here. We just got word via Kate over Did this walkie-talkie that, that uh, there is a cop approaching behind James, and sure enough, here he is. And I'm trying to get a read. Way over here. I'm trying to get a read on his face. I wasn't able to tell. I know that one of the people who drives the SUV is Jason Short. The police SUV uh, south on Main. Yeah. I see you. All right. He's heading north on Washington. Yeah. Oh, I might lose him. Swerving a little bit, touch the line. <laughs> so, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, how tonight's been going, James? Um, I know you sensed uh, or expressed a little bit of frustration about earlier's. Uh, you know, you had planned some things organization-wise that didn't. Yeah, happen. I wish there was a actually an organized meeting, um, where at the very least one person at a time had the floor and could talk, because. It was just like chaos tonight. And there's no organization. You know, no one wanted to drive. So Yeah, those are a few of my complaints as well, and not to cut you off, but you know, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of light here. Um, yeah, some of my uh, complaints about tonight's experience was that, well, first of all, I wanna start out with a positive thing. There were a lot of people involved who wanted to be uh, active in cop blocking tonight. I think that's really positive and, uh, you know, shows that we've got energy to work with. But my complaint is that there was no organization, you know, hurting anarchists, one might think is a difficult task, but James had a PowerPoint presentation prepared and people seemed to just want to sort of hit the, hit the ground and uh, find some cops. But I think it would be a good idea to, um, you know, have some protocol in place, like where's our meetup point? Where's a backup meetup point? And what's our goal in doing all of this? So, um, you know, we're behind a police officer now. Oh, there's there's no reason, oh, but it looks like he's pulling over now. This is interesting. What is this guy doing? I don't know if I want to pass him or not. He's getting out. I'm audio and video recording. I'm going to pull up up here and then we'll get out. Okay. Hey, this is James. I'm on Gilsum Street. Uh, we have an officer stopped. Uh, we're going to go investigate. I'm staying here. Okay, if anything happens, Gil, did you say Gilbo? G Gilsum Street. Here's the radio. Okay. If anything happens to us, let the uh, let it know. Oh, just side. push the talk. There's a button. Is on the side. So yeah. This big one. Yep. All right. There's a light here if you need it. Okay, I'll go bring it on. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Well, shall I leave it running? I don't wanna. No, I would turn it off and take the keys out. Okay. Because it might be suspicious. Mm -hmm. uh, James said that they're going to Gilsum Street, which is off of Washington, uh, near the blinking lights. So I'm just grabbing my. Here, would you be able to hold this for a second, actually? I can probably prop it. I'm going to deploy. I'll be out here. All right. Are you going to stay here, too? or? No, I'm going out there. I just wanted to make sure I have my walkie-talkie on me. Okay, this is Derek J. I'm going out from the car to uh, film um, the interaction and get sort of a daisy chain effect. What's your 20? I'm at Gilsum. I'm filming um, 
James. I've got my regular camera rolling and I'm going to start the backup camera. Where about on Gilson are you? It's a pretty long street. I'm trying to check this mailbox and find out what number I'm at. Well, are you near Washington? I'm at 185, Gilson. Roger, Derek. Okay, so it sounds like people are having a fun time, but it's certainly not excessively loud or anything. Wow, it appears the officer just entered the residence. Um, I doubt there was any kind of warrant for that, so it looks like this house needs some outreach <laughs> so that people know that they're, uh, they don't have to consent to any searches. is talking and it appears like his daughter or someone younger is also talking to the officer. So can you let me know what's uh, going on so far, James? Well, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't hear any noise. Maybe it was a noise complaint. It sounds like there's a few people out back. So do you, do you think it's safe for the officer to leave his car running like this? Uh, it's probably not a good idea. Which is? Uh, I think we have another officer from there's another officer who just uh, deployed to the 185 Gilson area. I don't... Derek, say again. There's another officer who just applied, applied deployed to the 185 Gilson area. Right, uh, we're hearing nothing on the scanner, or very little on the scanner. Um, Hello. Hey, Doing great. How are you? Gilsom, which is um, off of Washington Street, near the blinking lights. Okay. I thought I heard something too down by the car. Amazing, he just walked right in after a brief knock. So we have two officers. Both of them appear to have left their cars unattended and running. I think that's pretty strange. I can confirm that this first one is running. And now I can also confirm that the second one is running. Now the plate on this one, I don't know if you can read it, but it's G-O-2-3-8-2. And the plate on the other one is lit also. It's G-O-2-4-3-9. And I don't see any of the other numbers on the vehicle, I just know um, the time is roughly 11 p.m. and two officers are deployed at 183 Gilsom area, something around there. And it looks like uh, from the clear open window that the uh, police are inside having a discussion with a young lady. Um, seems like their neighbors are the ones who are making any noise. I can't imagine what the police might have been deployed for or why there would be two police officers here.
You want to tell me? You want to tell me what kind of scene you've uh, seen developing here? Um. Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but there are now two officers in here. They appear to be talking to the homeowners. Now, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm just gonna film it and make sure I guess nothing happens. <laughs> okay. And so, what have you got here that you're using to film with? Oh, this is a flip minnow, uh, and I have a monopod. So just a real cheap, easy Roger. setup. I think you can get the minnows for under $100 on Amazon. Okay. And this monopod helps you keep the, the camera steady and everything? Early. Yeah, exactly. And this is actually easier to deploy. Deploys faster than a tripod. Because it's only one leg you got to deploy. Okay. That's the advantage. The disadvantage well, I was thinking each car has stable. like <laughs> unique attributes to them. So I think maybe we should identify the cars based on unique attributes. Like there's one for the canine unit, one the charger, one, you know, Do you recognize job, either of like the officers here? Um, no. Steve, I'm not a, like, cop car One expert. looks like Corican. We're with one of the cruisers. <laughs> yeah, I mean the chargers. Both of the cops have their cars running right now. Uh, they're not in them. Steve and Daryl, are you guys ready to take the, the plates? Go ahead. First one, G O two four three nine. G O two three eight two. Daryl got it. The first one that I read off is a charger. Is it the charger with the newer style paint job or the old like big ass stripe? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so it looks like the police. It looks like the police are leaving. I don't think the homeowners want to talk. Roger, we. I don't think we have scanner audio. Here, hold on, I'm going back to the car. Okay. Walking back to the car. How do you feel about that interaction? Um, I'm, well, I'm not sure what happened because we didn't have the scanner up. But it appeared like the homeowners were okay and they closed the blinds, so maybe I assume they didn't want to talk to us. So. Do you think they were aware of your presence? Yeah, because they definitely saw me. Okay. Like the guy closed the blinds after he saw us. So. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I'm going to turn off this uh, recording, but, um, you know, I'll keep you in the loop as the yeah, would you story develops. Record the time is 10.58. The time is 10.58. Um, did you get...